Our new 60 gigahertz radar sensor was specifically designed for automotive interior sensing applications. We are focused on child presence detection, occupancy monitoring, gesture control, and interior sensing. When it comes to this use cases, a radar sensor has distinct advantages over other sensing technology. Uh, take for example, child presence detection. Um, with our new radar sensor, we can achieve a remarkable uh, accuracy in detecting even slightest motions like breathing or heartbeat detection. And the radar sensor can penetrate material, so it's idle for vital sensing applications, even when a child is wrapped in a blanket or the child's here is covered by a blanket. Uh, when it comes to occupancy monitoring, one crucial aspect to consider is the radar's angular resolution. Uh, our SC1260 has implemented two transmitter and four receiver antennas, uh, supporting a MIMO operation to achieve better angular resolution. We have optimized the antenna design, so um, with this it's uh, possible to accurately identify multiple persons in a car, even when there are three people sitting in a row. Power consumption is an important factor. The antennas and the number of antennas play a significant role on how much power is being used. Our new SC1260 offers an intelligent power control sequencer, giving the flexibility to control the duty cycle operation. With this, we can achieve uh, average power consumption of just around 0.7 milliwatt. The sensing operation is running completely independently without the need for any CPU, uh, external CPU interaction. The SC1260 has many integrated blocks for signal processing. Um, first off, there is a range FFT uh, included, uh, which is essential for any further signal processing. We have a CFR engine. Uh, implemented for filtering. Um, then there is hardware for measure the distance, the angle calculation and the clustering. Uh, 3D detection zones can be defined and an interrupt notification is generated only when the movement is just in this detection zone. All the signal processing is built into the hardware without the need of any CPU or any type of firmware. The XYZ coordinates are taken as an input for a zone-based grouping, which we call clustering. The point cloud data are idle for tracking the movements and positions of occupants. For gesture control, we also use the point cloud data. This is done by um, um, matching the trajectory of hand movements with reference data. Uh, with this, we can identify and recognize various gestures at a very high rate of accuracy. The SC1260 has many groundbreaking features implemented. First off, there is this advanced signal processing, which can output directly point cloud data from, from the chip. Then we achieve a very low power consumption in average, just 0.7 um, milliwatts. Um, the antennas, two antennas for a transmitter and receiver are integrated into an ultra-compact package of just 6 by 9 millimeter. And considering all these capabilities, um, the SD1260 is an idle device for a range of applications like tracking the position and movements of occupants for vital sensing or for gesture control. Yeah.